we have enough food to feed the entire population of Gaza. That food at the moment is outside the Gaza Strip. We need land crossings, we need access to get it into Gaza, whether in the southern parts of the Gaza or the northern part of, the part of Gaza, because the situation is catastrophic. So having access is really our number one priority. We have everything to make sure that we are re reaching the people. So for us, it's important to reach the people in every possible way. The land access and the crossings need to be opened up so that we can be able to get enough commodities that is sustainable uh, to reach the people. And the only way to do it is actually if we had road access to those uh, communities. We've done airdrops as a symbolic. It's not something that we want to continue doing. Road access is the only way for us to reach the 2.2 million in a constant manner. The last data we have is actually official data since December, when the IPC was issued. If you wait now during Ramadan, there will be the new IPC report that will be out. It will show us how catastrophic the situation is. It is already catastrophic in the sense that there are, according to WHO and other partners, children dying in the north. This is official inf information that we have. We have 2.2 million people at the moment. The majority are food insecure. We have high numbers of people that are considered in food insecurity levels that are emergency or catastrophic levels.